What is up and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like thrift stores and garage sales looking for items that I can flip online for a profit. And on Tuesdays, I show you some of the cool stuff that I sold on eBay in the previous week. Stuff that you can be on the lookout for yourself. But also this week, I kind of need your help. I need some tips from you guys. More on that in a minute. So I sold this baseball glove and you can see that it is really gross, like deteriorated, maybe even moldy. Not really sure. I almost threw it away, but it's Nakona and Nakona is a really high end baseball brand. I thought maybe somebody would want it to restore it, reuse it, whatever. Listed it up for auction because I had no idea what to price it at. And after seven days, this old nasty baseball glove sold for $77. So here is a great brand to be on the lookout for when it comes to tools. This is Milwaukee. They make power tools, hand tools, and they all resell for some good money. Picked this up at one of those Amazon bin stores, paid $6 for it. It's a Milwaukee ratchet set, and it sold in like three days for 98 bucks. So this is a Boss BCB-60 pedal board. It's actually made for guitar pedals. You can put like five guitar pedals in here, connect them all together, power them off of one power supply, and even store them when you're not using them in this nice case. Paid really nothing for this. Actually got it in a storage unit that I bought. It's paid for itself several times over, and this guy just sold for 120 bucks. And it's also broken. It's missing the latches, the hinges are broke. So even broken, this thing sold for 120 bucks. So this big box that I just put that Boss pedal board in, is shipping for $14.16. I know you guys are going to ask how I got it so cheap. It's because it's only going to Fort Mill, South Carolina. I'm in Lexington, South Carolina. I think that's about 70 or 80 miles away. So yeah, $14 shipping on that. Not too bad. I don't know a lot about books, but for some reason, this one just kind of caught my eye. And it's Taekwondo by General Choi Hung Hai, or He. Picked it up from Goodwill for $2. I checked comps while I was there and kind of amazed me. This thing sold in two days for $124.50. Definitely be on the lookout for this book. This is actually the newer version. It's like the seventh edition. If you can find the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth edition, it actually sells for more money. It also sells for like $250 on Amazon, but Amazon scares me. Probably the coolest jacket that I've ever found. How much are your uh, jackets? Yeah, uh, 15. 15 a piece? 15 a piece. This is a vintage logo athletic Carolina Panthers splash pattern jacket. Picked it up at a garage sale in the 100 mile yard sale up in Virginia. I believe I paid 20 or $25 for it, so I've definitely had it a while, but I also had it priced ridiculously highly, like 250 bucks. Kept dropping the price little by little and finally got an offer for 160, decided to take it. It is new at tags, but it does have a few blemishes on it. So I think that was a pretty good sale. Okay, so this is the part where I need your help. I'm actually going this weekend to the Peaches to Beaches yard sale in Georgia. It's one of those super mega long yard sales. And honestly, I've been to a few of them before and they can be really overwhelming. So that's where I'd love for you guys to leave some comments down below and let me know your tips and tricks and where to go, what to do, what to avoid at these really long yard sales. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys happen to be going to the same yard sale and would like to meet up, I'll actually be there with my buddy Adam from Baldy Pal Picking. We'll be in Perry, Georgia Friday night, so definitely shoot me an email at the address in the description or reach out via Instagram and I would really like to meet some of you guys. Picked up this Real Madrid Adidas soccer jacket from a garage sale. I think I paid like $3 for it and it sold for $33 on eBay. So I actually just sold a mystery box. First time selling a mystery box and it's this I Am Groot mystery box by Marvel. And it's really not that big of a mystery. It's got two Funko Pops, a t-shirt, a sticker, and a pin inside. 
Paid $6 for it from one of those Amazon bin stores. Really just bought it because I was curious and it sold for $32.50 in like a day. Crazy exercise stuff sells, it just always does. This is a squat magic. It's basically a pedestal that comes out and you got these little rubber bands that attach here and it gives you some resistance while you're doing squats. I don't know. Introducing the revolutionary Squat Magic from New Image, the first fitness machine ever to help you master the king of exercises and get all the benefits of squats without the struggle, all in the comfort of your own home. Paid $10 for it from a thrift store and it sold for 78 on eBay in like a week. Sold some Wii games, which is kind of something I never find anymore, especially at thrift stores. I sold Wii Sports and Wii Super Mario Brothers. Picked both of them up from Goodwill, two separate Goodwills for a dollar, and they actually sold to one buyer for $44. 21 and 24, or wait a minute, 21 and 23, or I, I don't remember. Are you stupid or something? Sold a pot. This is a Dansk Coben style two quart saucepan. And these Dansk pots are pretty easy to recognize. With these smoky handles on the top and the wooden handle, I paid $5.99 for it and it sold for $60 in like two days. And it's not in great condition. It's definitely got some staining and stuff on the inside, a few chips on the bottom. So it's a pretty good flip. So this is a brand that I've never heard of. It's called Aviator Nation. Apparently it's pretty popular, although I've never heard of it. Picked this hat up from a Goodwill for a dollar and it sold in like two days for 33. So I sold a putter. This is a Ray Cook Austin One putter. And it's not really the brand that sold this putter, even though Ray Cook's a decent brand. It's really the style that sold it. This is a Napa style or 8802 style putter. Definitely be on the lookout for these. They always sell. This one sold for $42.50 and it even needs a grip. Paid a dollar for it from a garage sale. Callaway Golf is definitely a good golf brand to be on the lookout for. This is a Callaway X18 single four iron. Picked it up from Goodwill for like $1.99 and it sold for 30 on eBay. Sold a Miami Marlins jersey. It's a majestic, cool base Miami Marlins jersey, size extra large. It's got the stitched lettering. And if I see a jersey with stitched lettering at Goodwill, I can't leave it there. It's just something that, I don't know, I can't resist. Pay $4.75 for it. And it sold after a couple of months for $28 on eBay. So I sold some flashcards. And apparently they teach art, cooking, and life skills for pre-K to second graders. I could probably use these myself. I could learn a little bit about cooking. No idea where I got these or how much I paid for them, but they sold for $18. Apparently I've had them for a really long time though. So I picked up two Carolina Gamecock Under Armour reversible basketball jerseys from Goodwill. Made $4.75 a piece, had both of them listed for $32.50 on eBay. Got an offer for this one for $28, decided to take it. And then of course the next day, somebody actually paid full price for this one for $32.50. Maybe I should have held out, but either way, decent profit. Interesting Harley Davidson shirt here. Got a picture of some old guys on a motorcycle with a bunch of bass. Never seen that one before, but I paid $1.50 for it from Goodwill and it sold for 17.